Hey fanatics, we got some fresh fanatic gossip coming up in this video, so stay tuned. Have you heard about all the controversy surrounding Oprah Winfrey's school for girls? Man, that place has been in the news for all the wrong reasons these days. It seems like they just can't catch a break from these disturbing scandals. And guess what? Word on the street is that these scandals are the main reason why Angelina Jolie, the famous actress, has refused to support Oprah's charity work. Now, we all know that Angelina and Oprah haven't exactly been best buddies. The tabloids always speculated that it had something to do with Jennifer Aniston, but turns out there might be a much more serious reason behind their feud. Apparently, Angelina had some major concerns about Oprah's girls' school and even questioned Oprah's rumored connection to Hollywood predators. By the way, did you know the school is called Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls? Sounds pretty impressive, right? Well, it caters to girls in grades 8 to 12. But here's where things get strange. The student count is 322, but the faculty members? You won't believe it, but it's a whopping 666. What's really going on at Oprah's girls' school? We can't help but wonder if Angelina Jolie knows something we don't. Maybe she's onto Oprah's dark side? The truth that's hidden beneath the surface. Who knows? But one thing's for sure. This whole situation is just too bizarre to ignore. Angelina Jolie and Oprah Winfrey have both built reputations as philanthropists and humanitarians, yet they never really could see eye to eye for some reason. In fact, Angelina reportedly has so much hate towards Oprah that she can't even stand to be in the same room as her. Even when Angelina was still married to Brad Pitt, Brad accepted her invite and went on the Oprah show alone to discuss their family life while Angelina turned down Oprah's invites multiple times. Though tabloids at first concluded that Angelina was mad at Oprah for showing her support to Brad's ex, Jennifer Aniston, later reports came out and told us that Angelina didn't care about any of that tabloid drama. Her real problem with Oprah apparently comes from the disturbing scandals that haunted Oprah's school for girls in Africa, specifically the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls in South Africa. Angelina was apparently hoping to get Oprah's endorsement. By the time Oprah had officially announced her school, Angelina had adopted her daughter Zahara from an orphanage in Ethiopia. And in 2008, she jetted off to Namibia, another African country, to give birth to her and Brad's first biological child, Shiloh. Now, Oprah was convinced that Angelina's deep connection to Africa was a surefire guarantee that the actress would want to endorse her school. But guess what? Angelina apparently wanted nothing to do with any of it. Just imagine Oprah's shock. She's used to celebrities falling over themselves to please her. She thought Angelina would jump at the chance, especially considering how much she loves Africa. But nope, it wasn't happening. One insider spilled the beans and said, Oprah says it's the last time she'll ask Angelina for help with any of her causes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. It turns out Angelina had a bad gut feeling about the whole project long before she found out about the disturbing stuff that later came to light about Oprah's school. But to make it even more shocking, Angelina wasn't the only one feeling that way. A bunch of journalists bashed Oprah's school, calling it nothing more than a fancy pet project. They made a good point too. The $40 million Oprah splurged on luxurious facilities for a select group of girls could have made a real difference for so many more students across the country. Turns out, the South African government actually wanted to lend a hand to Oprah in building the school, but they backed out because people were slamming the idea, saying it was way too elitist and extravagant for a country struggling with poverty. But you know what? Oprah didn't really care. She fired back, defending her plan and saying she wanted to pick girls with that special it quality and give them a chance to make a mark on the world. Oprah once famously said, I like to think I have as much good sense as I have money. Money, so that's a lot of good sense. But with all that money and common sense, we can't help but wonder how Oprah chose all those sketchy people to teach her girls. Yep, there's some really shady things going on at this school. 
A few months after the school was opened, a female member of staff was arrested after multiple students reported her for inappropriate behavior. Apparently, she was arrested for several charges, including assault, indecent assault, as well as soliciting girls under the age to commit indecent assault. This happened all the way back in 2010, and the matron was later acquitted of these charges. Oprah immediately flew to South Africa to meet with school officials and parents. However, she later seemingly downplayed the incident during a press conference and tried to clear her name as much as possible by claiming that the girls weren't actually subjected to assault. They didn't use the word, but they implied that there were definitely some inappropriate things going on. Oprah also revealed that after she talked to the girls, more victims came forward who didn't speak up before because they were previously scared of other staff members. As a result of the conversation with the girls, by the next day, five other brave girls had come forward, but all the girls were scared of facing repercussions from the remaining dorm matrons. So they immediately removed all remaining dorm matrons and put teachers in rotation in the dorms. But see, according to Newsweek, Oprah really gave this school her all. She personally chose the china, uniforms, sheets, and beds for the girls. She even tested the beds herself for comfort. So it doesn't add up that we're now being told that Oprah put in more effort in picking sheets and beds for the schools than selecting school staff. Also, she spent $40 million on the school, and yet there were no security cameras anywhere. But the controversies didn't end there. Multiple parents later came forward, claiming that they were only allowed to visit their children at school once a month. One mother said it was a complete nightmare, and another complained that I'd only been given two hours to see their daughters, and it reminded her of prison. And according to another report, the assault allegations only surfaced after one girl literally ran away from the school and told her parents she couldn't handle it anymore. However, it gets worse. In February 2011, a dead baby was discovered in one of the students' backpacks. After that, a spokesman for Oprah told ABC News that Oprah would not be commenting on the case. But what made all these allegations even more disturbing is that in 2010, Oprah traveled to Brazil to meet self-proclaimed medium and convicted offender John of God, one of the most famous spiritual healers in the world. He rarely ever talks to anyone on camera, but he gave Oprah an interview. So here's the deal. John ran the spiritual center in Brazil, where he did these healing ceremonies for desperate people. But that was just a front, and the man was up to something way worse than that. The guy faced over 600 accusations of sexual assault and got slapped with a whopping 60-year prison sentence. But let's talk about Oprah for a second here and what this tells us about her. After the truth came out, all she did was delete that interview with John from her website and put out a short statement about hoping the victims get justice. Somehow the media quickly swept all these stories under the rug and now barely anyone talks about Oprah's dodgy school or her connections to these creepy scam artists. But hey, Angelina Jolie hasn't forgotten. According to a source close to her, she still can't stand Oprah and thinks there's more to her than meets the eye. And Angelina knows Oprah was buddies with Harvey Weinstein for ages. She even spoke out against him, saying she had a bad experience with him and refused to work with him again. Fans are totally behind the actress on this. They say she knows who Oprah truly is, and they bring up that disturbing picture of Oprah with her tongue in Weinstein's ear. There is definitely some weird stuff going on at Oprah's school, which no one knows about yet, but hopefully she'll be exposed soon if there is anything. That's all for this video. What do you think is the truth behind Oprah? Is she really as nice as she seems? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!